not since Tony the Tagger let his cornflakes get soggy has any Tony let down the free world as much as today. Good morning, this is Toad Logs, and this is the morning show, and Anthony Weiner, and I'm going to say that name again because just because it's fun, Weiner, <laughs> has admitted that he sent the picture of his Weiner to the young co-ed, <laughs> and it was not actually some kind of hacker, and it is actually a picture of his Weiner in all its glory. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I, I just can't keep a straight face with the story. I mean, like, uh, a politician sending a picture of their crotch to a young co-ed. Of course! <laughs> Unless he's gay. Yeah, I bet you they pretty much all do something stupid like that. Huh? I, why is this even news? I mean, okay, yeah, he lied about it. He's a politician. They lie all the freaking time. He did get caught, and uh, getting caught is something politicians aren't supposed to do. <laughs> right. It'd be nice if they didn't lie, but that, that's not going to happen. But So he got caught lying. Uh, he made up this fantastic story that his account, his Twitter account might have been hacked. Might have been hacked. And they might have doctored a picture, or it might be something else, um, of a man's crotch that was sent to this young co-ed. And Anthony Weiner um, is married, so it's inappropriate. It's not exactly, uh, uh, you know, can't call it exactly the same as as uh, Bill Clinton and his affair with Monica Lewinsky, or I guess, it, according to Bill, that wasn't even an affair because oral sex isn't really sex. So, so sending naughty pictures to a co-ed is, I guess, is not even sex either. It's just stupid. But being stupid is what people do. So, I don't think this is a major story, but it's just so much fun to say. Anthony Weiner exposes his Weiner. <laughs> Next on. <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you think that he should lose his job because he ex sent pictures of his crotch to... Uh, young girls, college girls, you know, they're, they're uh, adults, but young people, uh, or should he be allowed to continue his work? And I have to say, if you look in the crotch box below, you'll find uh, a link to the uh, Young Turks, which has a video of Andy Wiener's apology about this, and he pulls a John Boehner. He starts crying. And, you know, I think it's very much legitimate. He's feeling embarrassed. He's feeling... Um, that he got caught and blah, blah, blah. If he didn't get caught, he wouldn't be crying, you know? So, it's a little disingenuous. Any way you look at it, he feels guilty because he got caught. He didn't feel guilty before that. Or if he did, he probably was like, <laughs> not, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not, you know, they, you know, politicians, especially since John Boehner started pulling this crying crap, have been using it to make themselves feel sensitive. Blah, 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 blah. John Boehner cries because he's a freaking booze hound. And, uh, or alleged booze hound. And, uh, here Anthony Weiner's crying because he got caught! You did a bad thing and you got caught! Boo! Boo! But it is fun to say his name. Wiener. Wienergate. Uh.